Hi, my name is Pam Graham. I want to welcome you, Paula, and Real Women of Philadelphia into my kitchen today. I'm going to show you a recipe um, that is uh, summer squash au gratin tarts. And we eat a lot of potatoes in our house, and I get burnt out on them. And we've had potatoes just about every way you can imagine. And so I developed this recipe, one, because you can use it as an individual side dish when you have guests, but it is also uh, a, a nice change up from potatoes. I have three tart pans that I've lightly sprayed with cooking oil, and I'm taking a pre-packaged pizza dough, or excuse me, pie dough, and on the first one, I'm just gonna fold it and press it in around the tart. And the reason that I have all three lined up is to make sure that I have enough pie dough for each tart. This actually makes six tarts. I use um, um, both the, the two rolls of dough in a package, and it just is as simple as that. But because I have it lined up like this, I, I know that I have plenty of dough to fit inside the edge of the tart when I press it down. And then I just take my fingers and press along the edge. You could use a rolling pin if you'd like. And it just breaks away like that. And I'm putting them into a baking sheet uh, just so it makes it easier to put in and out of the oven. I'm going to bake these off for 10 minutes at 450 degrees. And well, this is baking off in the oven. I'm going to show you how simple it is to make the filling for these tarts. So into the oven they go. Today I am going to use Philadelphia Cooking Cream is a new product by Philadelphia. It comes in four flavors. It comes in uh, herb, uh, Italian, Italian cheese and herb, savory garlic, Santa Fe, and original flavors. But today's flavor that I'm going to use is the savory garlic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a um, cooking um, measuring cup and scrape all the cooking cream into the cup because what I'm going to do is whisk it together with a little bit of heavy cream. Heavy cream will make this a little more rich, but on top of making it a little bit more rich, it'll make it pourable so that we can get it into our tarts. So we pour in the cream and we're just going to whisk this together till it's thoroughly combined and it's a lighter, more liquidy consistency that I'm gonna take. Today I'm using zucchini and yellow neck squash. Just gonna cut the ends off on both of them. And I'm going to cut each of these items into eight inch slices. If you've got a mandolin, you could certainly use that to cut it. I'm cutting it thin though because uh, once we're going to line the tart shells with them, and once they um, are in the tart shells, I need them thin enough so that uh, they cook properly. Unlike uh, potatoes au gratin, usually what they do is pre-boil the potatoes and then slice them down and bake them off. This eliminates a step and it's a different flavor. So I'm going to continue slicing these. When the tart shells come out, I'm going to let them cool for five minutes. I'll come back and show you how we build the tart. Okay, I've got my tart shells baked off, and I'm going to show you two different versions here. One's I'm going to use a ramekin for. Um, in case you don't want to do the tart shell step, it's the same great recipe, but it's just um, using it without the puff pastry. So I'm just going to line the bottom of the tart shell with a layer of squash on um, both the one with a puff paste or a pie dough and the other one without and we're going to give it a layer of each and it's making a really pretty pattern too 
and then we're going to uh, sprinkle them with Paula's House Seasoning. And the reason I've chosen to use Paula's House Seasoning, other than it's absolutely fabulous on everything, is that the flavors in her house seasoning, which are uh, garlic powder, salt, and pepper, add to what's going on with the um, flavor and repeating the flavor of the um, uh, cooking cream that we're using today. So we do that and what we're going to do is then take our cooking cream and cream mixture and just make it sure it's we're going to pour it over the top on both of them and <clears throat> then I'll take a spatula and just spread it around inside so it's all covered and then what we're going to do is right here I have Jarlsberg cheese for those of you that aren't familiar with it it is a uh, it's very similar to Gruyere or a Swiss cheese, but it comes from Norway instead of, you know, from uh, Switzerland or um, some of the places in the Alps. I'm going to continue to layer um, and build all my tarts, and then we're going to get them into the oven for 10 minutes at 400 degrees, and I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Okay, we've got them out of the oven, and it doesn't matter which way you make it, without the shell or with the shell, you're gonna have a beautiful presentation, and you're gonna have a dish that is going to absolutely rock your guests.